Thank you for watching another tutorial by WholesaleVinylFencing.net. On this project, you will notice that the ground is extremely steep and the customer, they want to put a fence up. So we had to dig the ground out to create a slope that the fence will be able to work with. Now that we have the ground dug out, we are able to go through and put our post in, and then we will begin the installation of the fencing. We start off with a regular rail, it's just a square rail. We put it up on the post, we got a square end on one end. You see that's not going to work because it's at the wrong angle. So what we have to do is cut this at the right angle on each end so it'll allow for the next rail it won't interfere with. Now I got a one all my way cut. I'm going to show you what it looks like after we've cut it. You see how that works? It's cut with the pole at the exact angle of the picture of the ground. Okay, we're going at this steep angle right here and what we're doing was putting a double rail in. The reason we do this is because our pickets aren't going to be long enough. So we use, what we do, we take this rider, it's got a burr bit on it, and we rider these holes out bigger, all the way up and around. We do it on both poles. And then what we do is double stack our rail, that makes our pickets long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in and show you. Put them in, there's one. And here's the second one that's gonna butt on top of it. also do is we put a screw in the top so these won't move, these rails won't slide down, that secures your rail in. What we do is we put these screw in a rail that keeps our rail in place so they won't slide either way. I'm finna show you how we do it. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put another screw in the top. You put one in the top and the bottom, that way it can't go either way. Today we're back at this steep angle again. What we got, we got to make this picket match that angle. You see, I'm going to put it in, it won't work. Like that. You see the gap at the bottom? So we got to cut the picket to an angle. Okay, I'm going to put it right down beside it, hold it right there, and then mark my pencil. That gets my angle on the bottom as it goes uphill, and they'll all be just like that. I went ahead and cut my picket to the proper angle that it's supposed to be. And watch this, it's going to go in. See, that's a perfect angle on the bottom right there. And you'll notice these are tongue and groove. All these pickets are. You got to start off with the groove up against the pole and then work your way up. Okay, now after we did that, this one picket will be the pattern for all the way to this section. Now, as you go up, the angle is going to change, so you got to make a different pattern for the next section up. Okay, now you see we've got this one opening right here. So a full won't, picket won't fit there, so we cut to fit whatever this measurement is. So as you look, you don't measure down like this the way the slope is. You measure straight across. Now we go to the inside about the center of this groove, and you see that's five and a quarter, so that'll be a cut here. Notice I'm straight across. I'm not at an angle. You see the angle we've got here. We've got to make this angle fit this rail, fit that angle. So what we do inside a rail it's like inch and three quarter we allow ourselves a quarter inch so what we do we measure up from the bottom of the hole one and three eighths of an inch then we mark a line on each one then we pop a string and it gets us a straight shot up this angle okay we got the string up chalk line string i put it on the one and three eighths on each end pull the pickets over pop it you see now that's perfect. It covers right here. We want to have a problem. We cut that off and it looks perfect. And this is what we cut the top of our rail with. It's just a cutoff saw. What you do, you take it, you cut it all the way down just like this. And it cuts really quick and smooth. Now we're going to put our top rail on. So you push it out, slide your top rail on. We want to slide it in the end of the rail that's got more room. 
we're going into an existing fence, so the, there's a rail right there that's going to hit. So you go in, this is first, push it out. Okay, guys, this is the finished product. That is how you make a vinyl fence work on a very steep hill. As you can see, vinyl fencing is very workable. It can be used in many different applications. If you are curious or you would like more information about vinyl fencing, go to wholesalevinylfencing.net. Thank you.